Anna with the Bath Township Public Library and you're watching Storytime Anytime. Now we always start our story times with our special hello song and while we sing our hello song we're going to do two of the words in American Sign Language. The first word is hello. So show me your palm. You're going to put it right to the tip side of your head like this and lift it up and away just like you're saluting. That's how you say hello in American Sign Language. The second word we're going to learn is friends. So you're going to take your two pointer fingers and they're going to give each other hugs. And you're just going to alternate hooking them together. And that is how you say friends in American Sign Language. All right, we're ready to sing. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. I'm going to sing it one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. And now we're ready to start story time. Now our finger play today is one that I bet a lot of you already know. We're going to do the itsy bitsy spider. Now itsy bitsy spider can be a little tricky for little hands. Now I know a lot of us were taught to kind of hook our thumb and our forefingers and kind of crawl the spider up that way. This can be really difficult for little fingers. So caregivers, you can try to show your little ones how to do this, how you alternate. Or if it's really, really hard, just kind of have them wiggle their fingers and kind of creep them up and then back down like spiders. Even though they're not doing it the traditional way, it's still going to get them using those fingers and kind of giving some exercise to those tiny little finger muscles that they need when they start writing. So are we ready? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Can we go through one more time? Now remember, it's okay just to wiggle those fingers. I'll do it that way this time. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and it washed the spider out. Out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Our first story today is called Tap Tap Boom Boom and this is written by Elizabeth Blumel and it's illustrated by G. Brian Karras and it's published by Candlewick Press. Now this is a fun story to read because it has lots of onomatopoeia. I love saying that word. Onomatopoeia just means words that are also sounds like tap tap and boom boom and crash and bang and meow and all those kind of words that are actually the sounds that they're saying. So while you're reading this book or listening to it with your little one, it can be a lot of fun to have a bowl or a pail, maybe a wooden spoon or a pot and kind of let them practice making some of the sounds while I'm reading the story or while you read the story. So they can go lightly tap, 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 and then maybe do some big bangs and crashes for the thunder. I also really like this story because I live in a very rural community. I live out in the country and the library I work at is in a smaller kind of farming community. And this story takes place in a big city where people go into the subway to escape the rain. And it's something that a lot of kids in rural communities are not familiar with. So it's a great way to introduce um, city life to kids that live in rural communities and also some new vocabulary like subway that they've never seen before. Maybe they've never seen an underground train, even in picture books. So like I said, it's got some new vocabulary and some exciting new places that maybe your little one has not been around before. So we're going to read Tap Tap Boom Boom. Tap Tap Dark Clouds. Tap Tap Damp air, tap, tap, cold drops of rain dot hair. Do you see the great big dark clouds coming in and some big fat raindrops falling? Street carts appear, umbrellas here. Tap, 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 <gasps> boom, boom. That sounds like thunder. 
tap, 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 boom, boom, crackle, boom, got a storm, big storm in bloom, here soon. And you see kind of the wind is blowing their hair and it's blowing this little boy's umbrella and the plastic bag. And here comes the rain. Sky grumbles, rain tumbles, big weather, you'd better get under umbrella. Boom, boom, that's right, slam, bang, hold tight to umbrella, wind whirls, helter, skelter, boom, boom. You see the car is splashing water right on her as it goes past. faster. Can you tap faster? Tap, 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 tap. Slap, feet, shoes, flap, feet wetter. You'd better go down underground where the water can't get you. You betcha. And then this, there's the stairs going down. Shall we see where the stairs are going down to? Now harder, now faster, big rain, side blaster, the subway is shelter, boom, boom. Maybe you can try slapping your laps and we can do slow rain. And now we can make it go faster. Lots of rain coming down. And there's everybody going down into the subway. Downstairs we wait, folks. Congregate. Do you know what the word congregate means? That just means people gather together in a group. We squeeze whose feet and knees are these. Now even the dogs are coming down for shelter. Hey, hey, watch spray. We get more wet. Oh, you see the dog shaking all the water off. See big, big fellow with tiny umbrella. It's yellow. Tap, tap, boom, boom. One girl all fancy. She's late for dancing. Can't wait. Fast dash after lightning flash. Look, she's got a present in her hand. It looks like she might be going to a party. The storm above makes friends of strangers. We laugh under cover at thunder and danger. Look, they're sharing pizza. Even the dog's getting a piece of pizza. And there's a man playing drums. There's a man playing an instrument called bagpipes. Have you ever heard bagpipes? That's a musical instrument that they play in Scotland. Tall lady with poodle. Where's the poodle? See, kid, no umbrella. Hands hers, no words, just a smile as her hello. Wasn't that nice of her to give her umbrella to that little boy? Two friends descend, huddled close from weather. Wet sides, smiles wide, together is better. Sometimes if you only have one umbrella, you might have to share. Storm ending soon, no tap, no boom. Outside, clear light, bright afternoon. We race upstairs and shake drops off hair. Look up, we cry. Shall we see what's up? Are you ready? Surprise in the sky. What's up in the sky after the rain goes away? It's a big, beautiful rainbow. Do you see all the tall buildings? People looking out their windows. And everybody's coming up out of the subway and now there's just puddles on the ground. Now people scatter through puddle splatter. We wave goodbye. So long, keep dry. Do you see the reflection of the building and the cloud and the rainbow in the puddle? Till the next, tap, 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 boom, boom. Till the next, tap, tap, boom, boom. The end.
everyone. I have Zach with me. Can you say hello? Hello! We're going to sing a song called Come Under My Umbrella, and we're going to do a few of the words in American Sign Language. So the first sign we're going to do is for umbrella. So you're going to put your hands in two fists, just like, just like Zach's doing, and you're going to lift the top fist up, just like you're opening an umbrella. Now I know most kids think you open an umbrella now just by pushing a button, but it used to be umbrellas you had to push open like that. So that is how you say umbrella in American Sign Language. Now the second word we're going to do is rain. So for rain, you put your hands facing out like they're claws, then you're going to face them down and then go like this. So you can do a nice pitter-patter soft rain, right? Can you show me pitter-patter soft rain? Or you can do big loud rain. Can you do big fast rain? <laughs> Good job. Now we're gonna do the sign for thunder. Thunder, we're gonna do two fists. And you're gonna shake them. Now part of doing thunder is also your face. So you should show like a thunder face. Now we're gonna do the sign for lightning. Do you remember how we do lightning? So you're gonna do, and do a zigzag just like a lightning in the air. Can you guys do that? Do a lightning zigzag in the air? Good job. Are we ready to sing? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start with umbrella. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain with thunder and lightning. And thunder <laughs> and lightning come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain. Can we sing it one more time? Yeah. Okay, ready? Show me your umbrellas. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain with thunder and lightning and thunder and lightning. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain. Good job. Can you say goodbye first? Goodbye. <laughs> Our next story is called The Water Hole, and this is written and illustrated by Graham Bass. You may recognize um, the artwork and the author illustrator's name from his famous book, Animalia. That is the one he is best known for, but this is actually my favorite book by him. And if you ever get the chance to check out any of Graham Bass's work from the library or if you purchase one of those books, um, I highly recommend it. The artwork is incredibly detailed and there's lots of hidden pictures. So it's definitely one, a book that little ones and caregivers can spend a lot of time poring over the pictures and finding all the hidden treasures. Down to the secret water hole, the animals all come. As seasons bring forth drought and flood, they gather there as one. United in their common need, their numbers swell to ten. But hidden deep among the trees lie ten times that again. All right, so there's the water hole. Are we ready to start? One rhino drinking at the water hole. Snort, splosh, mmm, delicious. And then there's some frogs. Another frog. There's also some other animals hidden in the picture. Can you see any? Two tigers lapping at the water hole. Grr, goodness gracious, how very delectable. Do you see the water hole? Something's happening to the water hole. Can you tell? Three, one, two, three, two cans squawking around the water hole. Ark, ark, ark. It's party time, fellas. Drink up. But something is happening. Keep your eyes on the water hole. Can you still see the frogs? Four snow leopards. One, two, three, 
four, gazing at the water hole, purr. Hmm, we must be careful, brothers. The pool was getting smaller. Five, moose wallowing in the water hole. Moo, moo, moo. Hey, get your hoof out of my ear. And the water hole is getting smaller. Oh no. Six, catfish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blub, 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 blub. And there it's getting smaller still. What kind of animal do you see now? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven pandas sipping at the water hole. Tis, 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 after you. No, I insist. And it's getting smaller. I don't know if you can see, but in the background, it's the Great Wall of China because you find pandas in Asia. What do we see here? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ladybugs meeting by the water hole. Bzzz. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I propose we establish a subcommittee to report on the water level crisis before the end of the fiscal year. All in favor say bzzz. Do you see how small the water hole is now? Nine tortoises lumbering around the water hole. Scrump, scrump, scrump. Okay, which of you wise guys hit all the water? And do you see how much water is left? And there's cactuses, or cacti, I guess. So it must be very dry where they are. What kind of animals are those? Can we count them together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kangaroos looking at the water hole. There was nothing to say. The water was all gone. And now they're in Australia because that's where kangaroos are from. And all the animals went away. It's all dry and there's no water. Then a shadow fell across the sun and clouds began to gather and a single drop of rain fell. Plop! And it rained and rained and rained and rained. And all the animals came back. Wahoo! Yippee! Do you see all the different animals? Different animals that you find all around the world. Now, Graham Bayes has said that he was originally inspired to write this story after going on safari in Africa. But then when he started drawing the pictures, he decided to draw animals from every continent. And I'm very glad he did. What animals do you see in this picture? You say, take some time to look. The end. Our final story today combines one of my all-time favorite movie scenes with some fantastic illustrations by Tim Hopgood. This is Singing in the Rain from the movie Singing in the Rain. This, the words were written by Arthur Freed and Nacio Herb Brown, and this is published by Henry Holt and Company. Now, if you've been watching Storytime anytime, you are well aware that I am not a professional singer, so I hope you still enjoy the book. Remember, little ones don't care what you sound like. They love to sing and hear your voice when you read. So I hope caregivers, you aren't self-conscious if you don't have a great voice. You can still have lots of fun singing and reading with your little one. Are we ready to start the story? 
she is in her bright yellow raincoat and her yellow umbrella. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds, so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Now, did you notice that they're the colors from the rainbow? We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Roy G. Biv, the colors of the rainbow. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. You see them way up high, enjoying the rain while everyone else is inside. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. There's a worm coming out and she's looking at her reflection in the mud puddle. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain and I'm singing, just singing in the rain. Do you like to splash in puddles when it's raining? I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Where do you think they're going? They're going right up into the sky and it looks like they're gonna fly away. Should we see where they go? What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Where did they land? I think they might have gone right to the rainforest. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. The sun's in my heart and I'm ready for love. Do you see all the different animals? I see a sloth, and some monkeys, and a jaguar, and frogs, and some lizards. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. I don't think I'd want to run across the snout of an alligator. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. Some pretty parrots. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain and I'm singing, just singing in the rain. They're flying back to the city now. Singing in the rain. Now, this is a final message from Tim Hopgood, and I wanted to read it to you. It says, apart from Singing in the Rain being the centerpiece to one of my favorite films, the reason I chose to illustrate this song is its underlying positive message. As adults, it is easy to forget the joy of rain. We tend to view it as an inconvenience rather than the wonderful thing that it is. Rain is something beautiful that connects all life from the city to the rainforest. So next time it rains, don't stay indoors, go outside and soak it up like the children in this book. What a glorious feeling it is. And Tim Hopgood has also illustrated What a Wonderful World and Walking in a Winter Wonderland, which are also beautiful older songs that are wonderfully illustrated by Tim Hopgood. So don't, be sure to check those ones out too. So continuing with our rain theme, we are going to dance to Jim Gill's Leaky Umbrella. So we're gonna have a leaky umbrella over our head and the rain is gonna come and tap on our heads and our nose and our shoulders. And then we're gonna have a leaky raincoat on and we're gonna tap on our arms and our tummies and our knees. And then we're gonna have on some leaky boots. And so since you can't see my toes, I'm gonna lift my feet up and tap your toes and your ankles and your feet, okay? Now, the reason we do a lot of songs where we're moving around more is because kids really need to have that gross motor. Children really can't learn to sit still until they have a nice, strong core, and to get that, they need lots of movement and activities. So that's why, in addition to sitting and listening to stories, we always try to do stuff that gets kids up and moving so they can build that strong body and get up that energy. 
Are we ready? Show me your umbrellas. I have a leaky umbrella, all full of holes. Does everybody have an umbrella over their head? I have a leaky umbrella, all full of holes. I have a leaky umbrella, leaky as can be. Well, that leaky umbrella will be the end of me. The rain is drip, drip, dripping on my head. Your the rain is drip, drip, dripping on my nose. No, tap your nose. The rain is drip, drip, dripping on my shoulders. Tap your shoulders. Well, that leaky umbrella will be the end of me. I have a leaky raincoat. We're gonna clap. All full of holes. Well, you are I have a leaky raincoat, all full of holes. I have a leaky raincoat, leaky as can be. Well, that leaky raincoat will be the end of me. The rain is drip, drip, dripping on my arm. Tap your arm. The rain is drip, drip, dripping on my stomach. Where's your tummy? The rain is drip, drip, dripping on my knees. On your knees now. Well, that leaky raincoat will be the end of me. Okay, do our boots. We're going to stomp. I have leaky boots. Stomp. All full of holes. I have leaky boots. All full of holes. Pretend you're splashing. I have leaky boots, boots. Leaky as can be. Well, those leaky boots will be the end of me. The rain is drip, drip, dripping on Don't my toes. toes. The rain is drip, drip, dripping on ankles? my ankles. The rain is drip, drip, dripping on my feet. Well, those leaky boots will Stop. be the end of me. Well, that leaky ah. raincoat will be the end of me. Well, that leaky raincoat will be the end of me. Yay! Great job, everybody! Now, story time is almost over. All we have left to do is to sing our goodbye song. And our goodbye song is a lot like our hello song, except we're going to say goodbye, friends, instead of hello, friends. So to say goodbye in American Sign Language, you're gonna hold your hand up like this and just wave goodbye. That's how you say goodbye in American Sign Language. Do you remember the sign for friends? Two pointer fingers and they give each other hugs. All right, we're ready to sing. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching Storytime Anytime. Um, stay tuned to our YouTube channel for other fun videos and also follow us on Facebook.